So guys, I am heading up to Malibu to this rad spot that someone told me about. It's a rad little hike. It's up this hill and it looks over this unreal coastline. One of the sickest coastlines in California. Um, it says here it's going to take an hour and 22 minutes and I'm going to do that trip from Huntington Beach, my hometown, my HQ. Um, and yeah, so we're going to start right now. Oh wait, no, I messed up. <laughs> So guys, we just got off the freeway and we have another 45 minutes to get to our destination. So that's going to be fun, but not going to be fun on PC. Oh my goodness, I almost died. Uh, this Chrysler just pulled out in front of me. Thanks Chrysler. But so far we're going to hit one of my favorite spots called Deus Temple. It's in Venice. It's like a cool guy surf motorcycles uh, retail store. They're based out of Australia. Gonna grab a cup of Joe from there. In half a mile, turn right onto Venice Boulevard. Uh, Faster route available. Sorry, I was out of three minutes zoning. taking a different route. So Siri's telling me I'm going the wrong way, and I've been going this way for ages. Sometimes machines are not right. So guys, this is Deus Temple motorcycle store. Well, this is their garage, but front's over there. But yeah. <laughs> So guys, this is a cup of stoke. I'm so stoked right now. So guys, I made it to Malibu. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how to climb this huge mountain. So, so far, I'm probably gonna be climbing over there, climbing up that little hill, and crossing over, and heading straight up there to get this shot. So guys, I probably took the worst way to go. And I was looking in my left, it's hard to see, but there's a cross right there. So I'm probably gonna turn back around since there's a rainstorm coming at me from that direction. So yeah, kind of bummer, but don't wanna to die today like that person. So guys, I tried to do that sketchy hike up to the hill and I realized that it was way too gnarly and I looked to my left when I was climbing up and I saw Cross at Nick and I was like, holy smokes. So in mine, like rain plus hiking back down, not a good combo off the cliff. So now I'm driving back home but at the same time try and find some spots to shoot.
I've never felt this much inspiration happen in one day. And it freaked me out. And now, like, I've never felt so happy and not depressed. This few weeks, these few couple months, like, I felt depressed. I felt like I was running out of ideas. And I'll tell you what made me get inspired again. And it was because of you guys. So I saw this quote yesterday when I went to Malibu. And it said, do not let your fears conquer your dreams. Conquer your fears and make your dreams come true. And you guys hitting me up questions on live saying, what inspire you? What motivates you? And how do you start photography where you started from? I started shooting at age 15 with an iPhone. From there, when I got into high school as a freshman, I started using a DSLR camera, Canon, and started shooting landscape. And from there, it just expanded in my, I just loved it. That's when I was, that's where I had a huge motivation and I was so inspired to go out and do these things. It wasn't something that I was paid to do or be forced to do. It was something that I loved to do. And from there, I started going for it. And people were encouraging me and doing all this stuff. And like, I want to encourage you guys to push forward as I'm doing right now. And like being motivated than being depressed and sitting around at your house doing nothing. It's like, it's not going to get you anywhere. And people told me, told me that multiple times. And, and the one thing that got me inspired was you guys and the quote that I heard yesterday. And I was just, it literally, now I'm full of inspiration. I'm ready to go. And I want to say this to you. Thank you so much for literally opening up my mind and my heart and wanting to travel and chase the dream again. And so, yeah, I'm, I've never been so inspired. So thank you, guys.